welcome back to the channel finally cohort 2 will be starting soon basically on 4th of august so here are some important things you need to remember before the cohort 2 starts also when the arcade cohort 2 starts basically there will be two cohorts one will be for arcade program and the main will be arcade facilitator program which will be starting on 4th of august so basically first thing a lot of you guys were asking about the facilitator how to become a facilitator for that i have already made a video you can check it how to become a facilitator you have to just fill the form i've checked the detailed guidelines how you have to fill the form how you have to share your url linkedin profile and also make a google community account so make sure to watch it if you want to become a facilitator basically facilitator role is different they have to guide the participant like as you have participated in the arcade maybe you have participated in the arcade facilitator program also so there were facilitators and they were guiding you uh, like sharing your progress report and multiple things so if you want to become one of them you can watch this video now the main thing about this video was this many of you are commenting then why people are recommending to create a new account basically as per the rules and it has been updated for facilitator program for arcade program you can use your old account also but for facilitator program if you have already participated and enrolled using one email id and the same name basically name there is no issue one email id to be more precise if you use the same email id in cohort 2 your application will be rejected so as per the rule create a fresh email account name and mobile number there is no issue you can use multiple times new name and new email id and the same number for ordering their swags there won't be any issue the main thing is that they want you you can either participate using fresh name and fresh number in cohort 2 if you want to participate in the arcade facilitator program but if you want to participate in the normal arcade program let me show you as you all are aware that the arcade has been recently ended and cohort 2 will start in july only for the arcade program then also i will recommend create a new account although here no requirement is here to create a new account you can use your old account but as you all are aware arcade facilitator program gives us bonus points so it will be easier as this point matrix will increase a lot i think it will legend will change to 90 95 points and this will change to 30 or 25 points so better join the arcade facilitator program when it will be live i will share all details forms and also for the arcade program so i am recommending create a new account as long as you create a new account it will be fresh and you will be able to complete more skill badges so you can see here points point system it is previous point system they may update the point system so here basically you get 25 bonus point and here we have to do 44 skill badges now if you are a part of facilitator program previously you must have completed some of the skill badges previously or you might have completed at least 30 to 40 skill badges and they might be of easy category like it is basically hard easy very easy not too much hard so why you will make too much efforts better create a fresh account and just we participate using the fresh uh, fresh email id only the names can be same but the fresh email id should be there they are doing it to remove the conflicts id because if you participate with the same id you will also face issue and they will also face issue in managing the data because in your case let me tell you about your case you will be able to see the you won't be able to earn more points as you have already done the skill badges and in case you have not participated in the arcade facilitator program and have not done any skill badges then only use the old account if you have done at least 5 to 10 skill badges i will recommend create a fresh account and participate again in cohort 2 so basically in some short i want to say for arcade program you don't need because there will be arcade games only there won't be any skill badge section so if you want to participate with the old arcade account you need to participate only in the arcade but if you want to participate in the arcade facilitator program there will be some exciting challenge like monsoon challenge previously we had where by doing one skill badges technically here two skill badges give one point but during the monsoon you can see here monsoon challenge we used to get one skill badge equal to one point so i will recommend completely create a new account and then only participate so that's all for today. Do like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Have a great day.